Not everything in nature is natural. Join us as we have a look at some scary creatures that were actually created by science. The Sudden Death Mosquito Now I'm probably not the first person, nor will I be the last, to admit their absolute disdain for blood-sucking mosquitoes. But what if there was a scientific version of the mosquito that was even more scary than the original? It's called the Sudden Death Mosquito, and that's not its real name, because it's really called something that I can't actually pronounce. The UK biotech company called Oxitec wanted to eliminate a virus which caused 2.3 million infections and 25,000 deaths on an annual basis. However, to do so, they planned to make an entire species extinct. Well, I guess it's the us or them mentality that's really worked out wonders here. That's because scientists at Oxitec have created a flightless female and a sterile male which cannot reproduce, or if they do reproduce, the offspring's going to die before it reaches full maturity. The company's website states, quote, After an Oxitec mosquito has successfully mated with a wide female, any offspring that result will not survive to adulthood. The mosquito population in that area can be dramatically reduced or eliminated. End quote. It seems as though they want to stop the transmission of dengue fever. According to the World Health Organization, it's spread rapidly in recent decades and has put nearly half of the world's population at risk for infection. This virus is nothing to mess with because it can cause flu-like symptoms and joint pain and rarely develops into later stages, which also involve tissue bleeding and sometimes death. Well, let's just hope that these genetically modified insects don't become super powerful and try to take over the world anytime soon, or become the cause for a massive zombie outbreak. The Two-Headed Dog Now this sounds like something right out of the latest X-Files storyline, but it turns out that there are some actual documented cases of scientists who could successfully graft one dog's head onto another dog. The American scientist was Charles Guthrie and he managed to achieve his feat in the early 1900s. You know, back in a time where we thought that bloodletting with leeches was practical medical practice? Well, Guthrie's mad scientist creation ended up surviving for 26 minutes. Then, a couple of Russian scientists wanted to replicate the experiments of Guthrie, and in their operation ended up being accidental because they wanted to perform a heart transplant instead. However, one of the scientists would gain worldwide recognition for his two-headed dog experiment. He even improved the grafting process and was also able to complete 20 operations. Oh, and one of them survived for up to a month. Now, it still sounds like something out of a bad, mad scientist movie to us, but it seems like it truly happened. Fast-Growing Salmon Just imagine it. You're quietly fly-fishing, when suddenly a horde of super-giant salmon attack you. That would kind of quickly ruin any peaceful afternoon, but we're still scratching our heads as to why anyone would want to create a fast-growing salmon. Oh, and if you're worried, of course the US FDA has approved what's called the Aqua Advantage Salmon, a genetically modified fish that's raised in captivity for human consumption. You know, cause that's cool and all. We can put giant salmon on the menu, and the fish was actually developed by Massachusetts-based Aqua Bounty. This fast-growing salmon is the first genetically engineered animal to receive FDA approval as an edible food product. Now you shouldn't be too concerned because the agency's PR department did put together an amazing press release so that the public wouldn't have to freak out. It says that the salmon are, quote, safe to eat. The introduced DNA is safe for the fish itself and the salmon meet the sponsor's claim about faster growth, end quote. The FDA would also further determine that food from AquaVantage is safe to eat and is just as nutritious as any other food from any Atlantic salmon. As it turns out, the fish are engineered with three chromosomes instead of two, and they're chocked full of HGH for added flavor. And roid rage! The fish can also grow twice as fast as their unmodified genetic forebearers, which kind of sounds like you get more for your money but it really also makes me just want to pass on eating salmon at my next restaurant visit. The Vacanti Mouse The Vacanti Mouse is a lab mouse that had what appeared to be a human ear grown onto its back. 
the ear actually just turns out to be ear-shaped cartilage, and is a structure that's grown by seeding cow cartilage cells onto a biodegradable ear-shaped mold and then implanting them under the skin of the mouse. The cartilage then naturally grows by itself, and why anyone would really want to waste time doing this is beyond my comprehension. The ear mouse was created by Charles Vacanti, which of course is where it gets its name, and colleagues in the Department of Anesthesiology. Ruppy Ruppy is a cloned beagle, which is short for ruby puppy, and is the world's first transgenic dog. What that means is her and four of her siblings all produce a fluorescent protein that glows red under ultraviolet light. The team of scientists at Seoul National University in South Korea created the dogs by cloning fibroblast cells, which express a red fluorescent gene produced by sea anemones. They were also part of the same team to first clone a dog by the name of Snuppy in 2005. Researchers who study domestic dogs as stand-ins for human disease aren't really certain how widespread the use of transgenic dogs will become in research. However, the dogs have served as models for diseases like narcolepsy, certain cancers, and blindness. The dog genome sequence in these pups have made them extremely useful to quicken the search for disease-causing genes, which before was conducted by dog genetics researchers. And those researchers had to work solely on gene scans of DNA collected from hundreds of pet owners. Gigantic Jellyfish The Nomura jellyfish is a monster of the ocean, but hasn't always been quite the behemoth giant that it's come to be today. These massive creatures can weigh up to 450 pounds and can be as large as 6 feet in diameter. They're also the world's largest jellyfish, but they came to be that way because of human interference. These jellyfish used to only be an occurrence every 40 years as far as jellyfish swarms go, but they're happening more frequently these days, which causes many fishermen to give up the job as more and more of them are becoming the norm. Science actually believes in climate change, particularly the warming of oceans that has caused almost 2,000 jellyfish species to expand their ranges, and that will make them appear earlier in the year, also increasing their overall numbers. Another cause for the growth of these jellyfish are polluted waters, and because of the boosting growth of the microscopic plankton, which is food for the jellyfish, they have grown exponentially. Overfishing has eliminated many of its predators and cut down on competitors that normally feed on the plankton itself. However, everyone has to make a pretty penny on these giant creatures, so some lucky entrepreneurs are literally cashing in on the fishermen's worst nightmare. One company in Japan is even selling giant jellyfish ice cream, and another plans to make a pickled plum dip with chunks of giant jellyfish inside. However, it doesn't look like this will be replacing the ever-popular sushi anytime soon. Enlarged Dragonflies now, if you're a fan of our prehistoric animals, this lab-created phenomenon might have you a little bit excited. Biologists are able to create a supersized dragonfly, which is 15% larger than normal, and absolutely terrifying to me. The insects are raised in an environment which scientists believe would mimic the Earth's oxygen conditions from about 300 million years ago. Now, the huge dragonflies apparently zipped around during that era, and had massive wingspans which stretched out more than two and a half feet. Scientists believe that the Earth's atmosphere at that time was much different than it is today, and has suffered a 50% drop. This has been also the first successful growth of dragonflies under controlled conditions, and it's allowed science to determine how oxygen levels influence the evolution of the insect itself. We just hope they keep those giant dragonflies in the lab and never let them go out in the public. Franken Kitty. As if cats were not scary and terrifying enough, let's take a look at a horrible science experiment gone wrong. We take a look at the Franken Kitty, created by German scientist Carl August Weinhold. Weinhold believed that the human brain was like a battery that was attached to several wires, kind of like the nervous system. He was a real-life Dr. Frankenstein and set out to test his theory in 1817, you know, when medical science was highly evolved. He also performed an experiment on a kitten and documented what happened. Quote, The animal lost all life. 
Afterward, I filled both cavities with the aforementioned zinc and silver formula. For almost 20 minutes, the animal got into such a life tension that it raised its head, opened its eyes, and finally got up with obvious effort, hopped around, and sank down exhausted. End quote. Alright, so how true this case might be is dependent upon your belief. That's because it was basically just one guy in a room giving some pretty bizarre details about bringing a kitten back to life. Weinhold's experiments were borderline insane and completely unethical according to today's standards, but we have to keep in mind that during this time, the scientific community was pretty obsessed with reviving the dead. The Zombie Dog Just 10 years after Frank and Kitty, a Russian scientist would shock other scientists and present a bizarre life support machine. Now, we're sure that Soviet scientists were rarely shocked, so this had to be something really out of this world. The man who created the machine claimed that he had an auto-injector machine, which kept the head of a dog alive through continuous blood circulation while the rest of the body went through intensive surgery. He also went so far as to prove his point presenting a film based on his research. In the film, there appeared to be a disembodied dog's head being tested on with various simulations. The head blinked when a light was shown into its eyes and even flinched when a hammer was banged on the table nearby. However, the final experiment would be feeding the head a piece of cheese and then watching it go through the esophageal tube. For many years, the validity of this experiment has been debated but it still isn't clear if the scientist actually created a zombie-like dog or just became a really great special effects artist. Kittens! No, we're not talking about lions or tigers. We're talking about the average domestic house cat. That's right, that adorable little fur devil sitting on the back of your couch has the ability to murder you because it's the spawn of Beelzebub himself. Don't worry, your cat isn't going to maul you to death. They'll likely just infect you with a murderous parasite, 